What I wanted to make was oil free, oil free, oil free. And I've been playing around with that, gosh, I guess for a little while. And I've wondered so often why oil free? So I looked up lentils, oil free, vegan, and there are so many good recipes. And I think, why am I using oil at all in my lentil dishes? And what I find that they use in place of is basically they use a little bit of water to saute. And often they'll use tomato of some kind. I found this, by the way, this is really good tomato sauce. I found it at the health food store and it's organic and it is amazing in flavor and taste. So they use tomato a lot to substitute the need for any oil. So today we're going to make a lentil dish with that oil and see how delicious or not it is. I think it will be delicious. So this is the story. First, she, I looked up this recipe online and what she does is she soaks her lentils two to four hours to soften them and then adds them to the dish to cook. I didn't want to do that because I didn't have time. So I cooked my lentils 15 or 20 minutes first. And here they are, we're using green lentils today. So in the main pot, I used a little bit of soup stock, my favorite stock pot. And we've got garlic, onion, and carrot. And she wanted some Italian seasoning. So for me, that's oregano, basil, and a tiny bit of thyme. I find I have to be careful with dried thyme, right? gets overwhelming and I don't like the flavor. So I use just a pinch of each, more oregano than anything else. And I cook these for about 10 minutes. So they're soft, not real soft, but soft enough. And I've got my lentils, so we're gonna add those to the pot. And I use my soup stock in the lentils is the broth, meaning my stock pot. And we'll get rid of all the lentils in this pot. And one thing I really love about this dish, as you've heard me say many times, is the one pot meal. And I love those because they save time in the end. Not in the beginning always. Okay, so now all we have to do is cook this a little while. Then we add the greens and you can just put spinach in here. Spinach would be great, but I'm doing chard and kale. And I'll add that and the tomato balsamic vinegar and sea salt once these are cooked just a little bit longer. And I'll garnish with red pepper flakes and Green onions. That's the story. So for right now, all I want to do is cook these up a little bit, maybe five minutes more. Then I can add the greens. Let those soften. And then, and what with the greens, add the tomato, the balsamic vinegar, and the sea salt. And right at the end, add pepper flakes and green onion. So we're gonna let it cook a little while and then we'll come back and add the green. I think we have this cooked enough that I can put the greens in now and the rest of the stuff so we can see this, what it's doing. So here we go. We've got enough liquid in here so that the meal, the dish is slightly liquidy and the greens will absorb some of that, not much. Connie, is that uh, kale and Swiss chard? Yeah, 
kale and chard together are always delicious. And then we want to add this yummy tomato sauce. Oops. So those are kind of heaping tablespoons. I think that's enough. Was that about half the bottle, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Half the bottle. So we're going to mix that together. And we're going to add the balsamic vinegar. Whoops. He doesn't want to undo very good. That can get hard. There we go. Thank you. So balsamic vinegar, we're going to add two tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> an exact science. <laughs> this is an exact science over at our home. <laughs> and then we want to add half a teaspoon of sea salt. And I'm finding using less salt, I taste the salt more. Huh. I'm finding that really interesting. A lot of these recommendations that are being made around health don't change the flavor. I mean, they, I don't even notice that the oil is gone when I make an oil for the dish, which surprised me. I hadn't expected that. So maybe what they talk about our taste change, because sometimes they say our taste buds change yeah. as we change our diet and we get accustomed to it and, and find all the flavor we're looking for. So that looks pretty yummy. Can you show me? Well, no, I'll take it. No, I can take it. <laughs> there we go. So that's what mm. it looks like in the pot. Gosh, it sure beautiful. smells good. Yeah, and the uh, balsamic vinegar. I don't know, kind of an interesting flavor that you can smell in the air. So then what we're going to do is just add the onions at the end before I serve it and a sprinkle of Mrs. Dash. Or you can use red pepper flakes. That'll work fine. So why would you garnish with the pepper flakes instead of putting them in now to get infused? That's what she does. So <laughs> okay. I'm wanting to try it. <laughs> we'll follow the recipe <laughs> yeah. first time. Okie dokie.